सर्कुलेट कर दीजिएगा हु will begin in one minute how many people have joined 20 27 27 and how how many would have joined if all the people who he had invited joined 40 or no, if uh, 17 of our active companies uh, join so 17 plus uh, you know 5 6 of us if there are more than 17 people that means uh, if, uh, some two people are joining so 30 odd people should have joined yeah. wow and we have 27 right yeah. correct correct oh that's phenomenal guys congratulations <coughs> okay sunil uh, you can get the ball rolling and then i'll take it from there no no it's it's for you okay. to take it okay i take it i take i take it so so first of all uh, thanks to all the people who are joining uh the talk that i am going to give you today i have called it uh, named it the 10 commandments for startups in difficult current conditions let me should i keep my video on or should i switch please, it off please. also keep keep it on keep it on my uh, mine i keep it on okay um other people can switch off their videos uh, they if they have bandwidth issues or otherwise even so the talk's name is 10 commandments for startups anyone trying to say something no okay 10 commandments for startups in difficult current conditions so context is uh, i mean we don't need to panic but be ready to face corona virus impact we have informally talked about in the early part um and the downturn afterwards for an extended period of time the downturn will be ugly and for a long period of time it is an extremely difficult and unusual situation guys in our history at least i have not seen anything of this sort and of this magnitude uh, in my life uh, like it is like a world war uh, just like what modi ji said the other day so the first priority obviously is to take care of ourselves and our families uh, there the simple words i have is do not panic but take precautions the difference is that panic makes you do wrong things and reduces your immunity while precautions make you do the right things and because you feel safer etc your immunity improves so please take precautions goes without saying in my suggestions uh, i am going to focus on early stage startups and not so much on the late stage most of our companies would be in the early stage these suggestions that i am going to do for you look simple but can have significant impact on your startups and may even make you survive this difficult time so they look simple you but you don't treat them simply they are difficult to implement difficult to uh, to manage but the impact could be significant including saving your company so what are the 10 commandments i'll first go through the 10 commandments and then go into specific cases uh, some general Uh, ideas i'll share early and then specific recommendations and then we will open it for q and a and in the last part we'll open it for you guys to make your suggestions what has worked for you or uh, anything else that you want to share with the group so from corona virus situation uh, number one is to keep your employees and customers safe both will remember your support for years right bend over backwards to support your customers in this time they will remember that so what i am asking some of the companies to do is reach out to your key stakeholders in your customers either by calling or by video whatever works and talk to them about what you are doing for them anyways but also say is there anything else you can do in these difficult times to support you they will remember that for forever and in certain cases actually uh, in one or two companies i have seen that should i turn off the video guys please sir, there's a lot of uh... yeah i'm just switching it off uh, stop video hopefully that improves so in certain cases this has been done let me be just quiet for 2 2 seconds i think people have to mute their phones because your voice is again being heard everyone please mute the phone 
Okay. So the first part is reach out to your customers. And I have cases where they have reached out to the customers, customers has appreciated them and also has asked for do some doing something more within obviously your services. And that is terrific. So bend over backwards for customers and employees and they'll remember you forever. In the current environment of distributed working and working from homes, etc., cetera, uh, provide your workforce with whatever tools you can, uh, Tandem, Slack, Zoom, high bandwidth, laptops, whatever it takes for them to function. I was sharing with some of the people early in the early part is that I talked to some a vice president in Cisco, India, and they said their productivity has actually increased 115, 120% because people are not commuting and they are working hard and some of them are uh, continuing to work even on weekends. Uh, so uh, provide them the right tools. Number three for a uh, coronavirus situation, communicate, communicate and communicate with your employees have virtual meetings like you had your face-to-face -face meetings. So my suggestion to them is, oh, Charu has joined. I thought you were not being, will, will be able to join. Charu, only just, eight minutes though. Switch, I have th that's okay, switch off the video, please, so that other people have uh, can hear. Okay, so communicate, communicate, communicate with your employees. My suggestion is for people to have the meetings just like they had before, no difference. Uh, uh, have the meetings except face to face have the virtual meetings do not assume that your communication is sufficient um, just because you have spoken to one or two people on phone if you can have all hands um, so do it uh, i know some number uh, employees may be higher than what bandwidth is supported etc uh, but look here, there are 30 odd people and we can have this call. Why can't you have the all hands in this, uh, in this situation? Uh, I have used all hands very, very effectively in hard times. And uh, please, please do all hands at least once a week. If you can't cover all your employees, then do it in two parts. But do all hands. They have to see the CEO is in command and is confident and knows where things are. Uh, see, see Modi uh, just like that, you know. Uh, although I have never seen Modi as nervous in the last uh, as in the last two communications. But anyway, he is in command. He's in control. He knows what he's doing. He'll he'll make sure things go right. That is the confidence you have to uh, sort of show to your teams and all the other meetings sales meetings and technology meetings and so on should go on as they were before same times same don't change anything same times same duration everything should go that way and if anything um, in everyone is not used to virtual meeting so uh, in face to face meetings a lot of people feel open to speak up in uh, virtual meetings, a lot of people remain quiet. Uh, they are not used to it. Uh, you need to make that happen. You take people's name. Hey, Tushar, can you, can you give me some idea here? Hey, Raja, uh, what is about this? And so on. So make it interactive, not when we one way communication and uh, make it just like face to face and people who are not comfortable attending uh, virtual meetings, make them comfortable. It is your job as a leader to make that happen. So that's on coronavirus. Now, uh, from economic downturn and economic impact, here are the suge seven suggestions. Number one, your top priority is to not run out of cash. Easier said than done. Um, you have to have, so uh, wherever I'm on the board, let's say example of Royal Orchid Hotel, about three weeks back, I told them that guys uh, create three plans. Uh, one, if this continues for a month, two, if this continues for two months, and three, if it continues the lockdown of some sort continues for three months. They were literally laughing, some of those people. Are nahi hoga, do mahine kaha hoga, that will do this. Uh, it's not a joke. And when I asked them to create these three scenarios and they came back with me uh, with those scenarios, they are ugly. Royal Orchid has 50 hotels. 50 hotels are lying empty today. Occupancy is literally zero. 
who is going to pay for the loans who is going to pay for the employee pay for the employees there is literally no traffic there so please understand your first priority is to not run out of cash number 2 understand the impact of your markets reassess competition and come up with a new strategy and plan question every assumption about your business finance fundraising sales marketing headcount capital spending your plan that you had yesterday has no relevance no relevance do not ev take evolutionary step do not try to tweak it by changing few things clean the slate create a new plan and uh, as i cover more points you will see why am i saying that and to all my companies i am asking them to show me a new plan not a tweaked plan a new plan which covers everything and there could be some pluses as well but it should be really a new business plan as if your company is starting from this week or next week or april 1 whatever you prefer as i said three third point put in place lifeboat plans for three months and if the downturn continues for one year or even two years what will you do how will you manage the company and that is that should be reflected in those plans scenario a scenario b scenario c number 4 lead from the front and be transparent with investors customers employees while you share the new strategy and plan it will be difficult for you because this plan will look ugly in certain cases but you cannot hide these things from your investors from your customers and from your employees now there is a fine line between stupidity and transparent communication but i am happy to work with any of you uh, who have faces this dilemma on how to communicate this number 5 this slowdown can be used for innovation guys you know that i am a big big proponent of innovation uh, and technology processes business models all these innovation this is a great time the best way this is not an innovation class so i'm not going to do the uh, go there but just one or two ideas right best way to innovate is to think of an ideal solution to a problem and then think out of the box a new way to reach as close to this ideal solution as possible so when you are working on a problem architecture performance related issues scalability related issues your core technology that you are developing first clean up the slate and think what would be the ideal way to get there now obviously you cannot execute ideal way in most cases so now what is the closest and think out of the box to get there that is really innovation so first always think of the ideal solution don't start from your constrained current solution you can never innovate that way now to come to ideal solution do competitive analysis look at the outside industry on how they are solving a similar problem and then come to that ideal solution um, discuss it uh, do collaborative innovation i am a big fan of collaborative innovation so discuss with people and then come up with ideal solution and then think out of the box to come as close to that solution as possible this is a great time to do innovation i have asked in the past the cto of a company to to go home for one week not come to the company and just come up with three five ideas that could be patented that could be innovation for your company right now everyone is working from the company from the home so that is work and i also believe in two things give goals on innovation um don't think innovation will happen by accident and uh, you know it just somebody will get idea it doesn't happen that way at a large scale that may happen once or twice <coughs> here and there but uh, but basically you need to give goals on innovation you can tell guys i need two ideas from you i need one idea from you by next week i need this and that and give the goal and also forced innovation i am also okay with that forced innovation is literally forcing people that okay for next 24 hours don't do anything but i need two ideas from you that could be uh, 
serious innovation for your company. Uh, um, again, I can, I'm happy to take innovation as an outside this, but this is a great time to do innovation, which can take your company into the next orbit. Number six, be an optimist, upbeat to inspire your teams in this difficult environment. Remember, no winter lasts forever. So be a beat. It will be hard for you to sometimes be a beat when you create your new plans. But as a CEO, you have to a beat. That doesn't mean you lie. That means you have to find enough reasons to be excited about and that you need to share with your teams. Number seven, clearly understand what conditions you will have to meet to get the next round of funding. Let me tell you, this is very serious. In, in, in Goa, I told you that what I would suggest as most of our companies are struggling or going for the next round of funding, I told you in Goa that go and create the milestones that will get you the next round of funding and work on them just like a clockwork. Well guys, now the situation has completely changed. You still have to do what you have to do. I, what I said is still relevant. You need to do what you need to do. But now funding will be much, much, much more difficult. I'll get back to this point later. But what you need to do is make sure you have clear goals identified for your teams on the milestones you need to reach to get the next round of funding. Otherwise, it will be difficult. So these were the 10 commandments, the seven points on the economic downturn, three on the coronavirus thing. Some specific suggestions before I get the ball rolling in Q&A. Um, if your product market fit is still not clear, you are in bad shape. You need a new strategy and an uphill battle. Some, someone is, uh, is, can you please all sh uh, mute your phones so that other people are not disturbed? Thank you. So if your product market fit is not ready, you have just pivoted and so on, and your market uh, fit is not ready, guys, you have an uphill task. Again, I'm happy to help offline, but you have a challenge at your uh, hand. Address it. Don't avoid it. Second suggestion, if you have multiple product that have reached this stage of market fit, you may have to bet on one or maybe two. You cannot take seven ideas in this market. You will have to focus on one or two that will uh, give you the return. Again, I'm happy to talk to any one of you. Uh, I, I can take the calls and I'm happy to guide you through this difficult situation, but do not go as usual. If you are working on five streams of your product and you continue to work on those five, um, you may have better some very very good reasons to do that in most cases i will suggest take one or two of those and take that forward number three example right uh, do not slow down the sales process for example now indian person can actually sell in us because all the calls even there are happening either through video or phone so it doesn't matter where you are this is a great time to sell to your U us customers see new Seek new opportunities for sales in changed environment. 30% saving was not important two weeks, three weeks back. But when the economy or the things start... Hey, Mohit, can you put your phone on mute, please? Yeah, thank you. Um, so 30% saving was not attractive to certain customers of yours. They said, we don't care, yeah, 20, 30% ke liye hum India kyun jai. Those 30% savings will become suddenly very important. So the customers who used to tell you, ki nahi yaar, aapka uh, value proposition is not attractive enough. Well, it may be attractive enough now. So seek new opportunities, new customers uh, on these new things geography you will have to probably change for your sales and so look for geographies where sales can be done easily for example within india in this case because indian flights will open first international flights will not open um, uh, early or whatever as the situation is but you may have to challenge your assumption about the geography of your market given the conditions your competitive landscape may change some of your smaller competitors may be dead. 
a lot of startups in us will die because nobody is going to fund them in the next round so a lot of your competitive landscape slides that you showed me many of those people have shown it to me some of those at least i guarantee you that in the next 6 months half of them will be gone so great new opportunity for you but the bigger one will come out stronger generally so you have to have a strategy to differentiate your product against them the last but the most important point fundraising will become more difficult and valuations will drop assume funding to drop by 50 to 75% in the uh, successive rounds um uh, i was speaking to some vc friend of mine in california yesterday and he said that the vcs are taking the term sheets back which means even if they had given the term sheet they are taking it back and they are not going to fund anything for 6 months next 6 months many of them not all of them of course and it is a serious situation only exceptional companies will get funded only exceptional companies will get funded if you are an average company tough luck data from the uh, last uh, 2008 uh, crash suggests that seed rounds uh, come back early but uh, later stage funding took years to recover in 2008 for one year two years very very selected uh, data stage funding so plan your fundraise very very appropriately uh, you may have to have completely new strategy on what you need to do so high level suggestions if you can break even go for it at the cost of a bit growth this is a time to actually uh, make sure that you survive first and then worry about the growth again these are general comments every company will need to tweak these things to your own uh, sort of situation but fundraising will become very very difficult when you can get a hdfc bank and hindustan lever at uh, at two thirds of the price compared to two weeks back what is our valuation think about it so valuation will change and funding will happen only to exceptional companies your goals of funding should now take you to exceptional situation very compelling argument otherwise funding will not happen the silver lining in all of this bad news is that guys this is the opportunity companies such as airbnb square stripe all were launched during the global financial crisis and they are all billion dollar companies or multi billion dollar companies now so other people have done this we can do it too you can do it too you can create a successful company but status quo won't do what your plans were yesterday won't do you need a new strategy new plan and every assumption that you have made needs to be challenged so those were the general guidelines i wanted to uh, share thanks again for patiently listening to me uh let me open it for q and a so um let's go one by one you can just uh ask any question you have from me my uh my colleagues can also join in answering those questions girish sanjay satish uh, sunil all of you are there but let's open it for for questions any questions guys uh so i think uh, i would like to i would definitely i have one question uh, over here go ahead uh so as you said that a lot of these american startups uh, would be going through uh, a bad time and many of us over here have north america as one of the biggest target markets compared to india it's a much larger market so do you believe that the general consumption in certain specific sectors is going to increase or uh, it's going to be a sector agnostic hit in the us right now yeah very good question so first of all probably all will slow down so what you were expecting to sell in 6 months may take a year now irrespective of sectors um, but certain sectors will be affected much more see people's disposable income may be affected uh, you will see massive layoffs after after this coronavirus situation 
massive layoffs will come. Other people will be nervous. If, if Intel does a layoff of 1,000 people or 5,000 people, next 5,000 feel scared. Disposable income vanishes. So certain class of products which are, can be avoided will see a significant slowdown. On the other hand, defense and medical and things like that uh, may actually accelerate. So uh, that is why I'm saying you need to uh, tweak your plan accordingly. But in general, comment to Shar is that all sales will slow down and uh, many of the companies that i have talked to in last three four days i have said um, the pipeline that you currently have uh, and you are expecting sales half of that may vanish so it's a serious game changing environment uh, and and you think we should use this time for new collaborations or uh, because if it, if there's such a flux, should we even initiate new uh, tie-ups right now or That's wait for this to cool down? Excellent question. Absolutely. Because uh, some company will cut certain groups. They'll say, I don't need this. So if you have an offering or you can collaborate with XYZ company, which is was earlier trying to do their own solution for what you are doing. But today they say, screw it, man. I don't need to do this. Let's partner with this company and we'll have a solution. Why do we care? They would also be focused on generating revenue as fast as for them. Now they are not interested in the syndrome that I need growth. I need vertical integration of my products. All those assumptions will be taken away from for them also. So I think here is an opportunity to collaborate with your uh, partners or even in some cases, maybe your competition. Good questions, Tisha. Yeah, Titi. Uh, just to add uh, to the industry part of it, uh, whatever discussions I've had uh, with most of you, it seems like the sectors which will definitely uh, keep growing uh, would be the pharma, diagnostic, healthcare, or uh, uh, the defense area. Even the uh, facility management, sanitization companies are going to be uh, doing good, and then. Uh, the, the FMCG, yes, the, the job is going to be uh, difficult, but in India, with the, uh, with the kind of package that the government has announced, at least uh, with the poor, the, the FMCG companies will still be doing fine. So the sectors you'll have to choose so that those sectors can uh, work better and faster for you. Perfect. Piti, you were going to ask a Yeah, question. can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, there was some problem with my microphone. Anyway, so I uh, thank you so much, first of all, for uh, all these pointers. I had a question, you know, um, uh, how do we, I mean, uh, we had actually started the actions uh, in terms of our uh, IP building and, uh, you know, what, what should be done right now? Obviously, the situation has changed very rapidly and a lot of things that were uh, started out in February, need to be stopped to conserve cash. Uh, and I know you have been extremely, um, uh, you know, um, uh, passionate about IP building, patents, etc. So what, how should one handle that? Just, uh, just um, uh, keep everything on hold for the next uh, nine to 12 months? No, no, that will be also death, right? So you can't hold your breath for too long. Uh, uh, and IP is breath for startups. So uh, general uh, answer is that you need to have a new plan, Tithi. So mm -hmm. I will go back to the drawing board. I look at the money you have. I look at the revenue that you were planning to have, maybe mm -hmm. divided by half or whatever makes sense for your company. Look at the situation you have. In the next six months, your funding will not come. 12 months may or may, be, may not be. Uh, create a plan for what do you need to reach uh, to get your funding. Even IP will be important there. The, the next round of funding may be uh, critical uh, if you have, uh, or easier if you have some good uh, IP. So, so create a new plan. Titi, the answer is to create a new plan. Do not tactically stop, start, stop, start these things that will uh, be not productive, but have a very clear plan of how much money you have, how much money uh, you can get from revenue and how you are going to survive this period. What is important for your next round of funding? IP is very important and IP doesn't really take, they're not like five people you need to create IP. It's the same five people who create the IP. So um, IP is easier, but other things you may have to 
to check for example sales if you were planning to do certain geography which is not going to open do you need that sales person or you would redirect his or her effort to some other geography where it is easier so and that's why I'm saying new plan from every respect. Go back to your business plan. Your go-to-market may change. Your sales plan may change. Your geography may change. Your team size may change. You will get an opportunity to hire some people you, you never had a chance before. Uh, a lot of layoffs will happen. You will get some amazing people, but uh, you will have to target them. You may have to do layoff yourself. I, I don't know your situation. So that's why I'm saying create a new plan, but don't tactically and in panic uh, start stop things uh, that will not lead you anywhere. I'm happy to uh, take offline uh, call with you to go over it. But first you have to create your own plan. And, and then we can discuss it as needed. Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Sure. We are already doing that. Uh, uh, completely revisiting, uh, you know, FI 2021 uh, in terms of expenses and revenues. In fact, we forecasted that uh, whatever we had planned for the coming year, we've uh, taken our revenues down to 25% and uh, assumed that there will be no revenue for six months. Uh, I don't know if that assumption is good enough, but I'd certainly connect back, uh, you know, just to go over some of these assumptions uh, so that uh, you all have more experience, of course, you know, that whether that's yeah. the right assumption or not. Yeah, challenge everything, but I am again saying slow, uh, saying showing, slowing sales, slowing technology development, slowing IP development. These are again, generic things. To your particular situation, we can talk offline and tweak everything to what your company needs. But survival is the most important thing right now. Understand. Uh, uh, Thank Tipi you. And Vivek, let me just add uh, one aspect here. Uh, Absolutely. We were talking to a Chinese uh, VCs. Uh, their uh, uh, takeaway is uh, they have actually gone through the entire three months of uh, lockdown in the country and they have emerged back fully in the last uh, two, two and a half weeks. So they, th those VCs are saying that best, best case scenario, a company which has been able to identify the new customer needs will be able to achieve 30% of their planned revenue. So that's the outer limit uh, as per uh, them. The ones who are able to do so will be uh, uh, obviously uh, doing better uh, when, when the uh, lockdown open, opens up. That's part one. And hence, and you are the ones who actually made your business plan prior to this um, you know, coronavirus thing happening. And you happen to luckily raise capital prior. Whoever is raising capital currently with us or uh, through anybody else, they have been made to rework their plan every day basis. Uh, level, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, this uh, Karthik is there. Maybe Karthik will uh, take you through as to how uh, he has uh, reworked the entire business plan uh, for, uh, uh, for the next uh, one year. Uh, so if you have not raised, uh, if you have not gone back to the investor at this point in time, uh, you will need to do, the, do it in-house on your own. The... <clears throat> The, the part of assuming six months of no revenue is uh, decent. Uh, as per what uh, finance minister uh, stated yesterday, all the scheme for the poor are until 30th of June. So if they, there is some kind of uh, hidden message to all of us is until 30th of June, we need to be prepared with uh, zero to 30% kind of revenue. And uh, Tithi, you happen to identify a new uh, vertical, which is online education for your product. So go after whatever you think can, can add the revenues at this point in time. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Sunil. I, I will connect separately with uh, you and Dr. Mansing on some of the assumptions we're taking, even in terms of the, the uh, expense reduction that we are uh, planning to do apart from the revenue reduction. Consider that you are hired as CEO of this company today. Consider <laughs> that, forget history. You are founder, you ran it for seven years. I don't give a hoot about it. Today you are hired as CEO and handed over this company. Now you do what? Very well. Uh, other, think, uh, think, other people. Yes, Alex, uh, I think what, uh, what Vivek and uh, yeah. Sunil said is absolutely true. I mean, uh, we, have, we have actually gone through uh, probably, I think, 10, 12 rounds of discussions in last 
two to three weeks uh, in terms of looking at our model, looking at uh, uh, where we can optimize, uh, and also splitting up the hardware and software part of it. If you have a hardware uh, portfolio into the whole thing, I mean, I would I would recommend sincerely that you take a relook at it uh, because that takes a huge hit on the cash flow. So uh, take a relook at what. Uh, where your expenses, where your cash flow is going, uh, apart from just uh, looking at uh, uh, the receivables and uh, the uh, the cash situation in terms of funding, etc. That is one part of it. The second uh, part of it is, uh, I think, the point that you made that in terms of uh, uh, assuming a hit in revenue. So we have uh, actually focused more on renewals. Uh, and focused more on existing customer base, assuming at least in next quarter, uh, the number of new new customers you will end up adding will be significantly low, if not zero. Uh, Karthik, if you can speak about your, um, you know, how you're handling the manpower costs, because you're taking some significant decisions on the people costs. Sure, Sunil. So uh, that's one thing, one area we have uh, focused on. Uh, we are looking at uh, partnerships significantly and uh, some of the uh, partners uh, who are also uh, minority investors in the company we have uh, kind of stitched partnerships where uh, we can offload some of the expenses in terms of manpower costs uh, to the partners so that we can arrive at an arrangement where our cash flow takes a minimal hit whereas uh, the operations continue and we have the resources uh, available to us in spite of uh, uh, the situation that surrounds us today. So uh, I can delve into the details of that, Sunil, if you want, uh, but in no, short, no. Uh, 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 so that's what we have been doing, where we have uh, uh, actually stitched a partnership uh, with one of the, uh, one of our partner companies, if you want to call it, or uh, one of the uh, minority investors who run a services business where we have some people being offloaded into their payroll so that the cash impact on the business is uh, minimized from a payroll perspective as well. I will tell you one drastic discussion, uh, sort of decision within a very short period of time. So yes, people part like Sonil is saying is very important and we have to look at it. Let's, uh, there's only about 14 minutes left. I don't want to have other people, uh, you know, who want to ask questions, deny that. So keep asking and we'll do rapid round of questions to make sure that everyone's question is answered. Lalit, you go ahead. Okay, so my question is regarding the employee side only. Partly it had been answered uh, so far, but I really want to hear your and Vivek sir's view on this because once we go back to the drawing board and create a new plan, I'm sure employee cost will be the subsequent, uh, rather the substantial one, which will come up and it will definitely need optimization. While we go towards that, uh, we have- So, so I, you, I as I said, you, you have a new plan, right? For this yeah. new plan, to execute this plan, you start as if uh, you have zero manpower and you start uh, building your organization to deliver that goal or whatever your plan is. So who do you need? Who do you not need to be able to make that, execute that plan? Just because they were working for you uh, yesterday has no is no reason to, to for them to be there having said that you need to be compassionate i told you that you have to take care of employees but there is only so much you can do so uh, the way you create the new workforce is assume nobody is working for you now you yourself are a new ceo you have this plan to execute who do you need to execute this plan okay. clean slate next question Let's keep going so that I answer all. And if the time comes, uh, we, we can ask second question or whatever. Anyone else? Uh, this is Dhruv. Just a suggestion uh, to all, all the people here. We've implemented some key steps. Uh, one, of the, one of them being, uh, there's a clause of force majeure in all our rental agreements. Uh, for example, our office, we were paying a sizable rent. But effective 23rd, we've implemented the force majeure clause, which means we will not be uh, liable to pay rent till the lockdown opens up. Uh, 
my suggestion is just go back, check your lease agreements for your respective offices. Wherever you have that clause, please, please implement that. It will help you save some capital. Excellent suggestion. What was the response from landlord, by the way? They have simply accepted it because, okay. uh, see, these are these clauses. In fact, we work with a lot of golf courses and supply them with SaaS technology. They all have sent a mail with a force majeure clause. Terrific. So, Great suggestion, guys. Revenue, but yes, we are saving as well. So this is uh, you know, this is a postponement of, of rental payment, or this is no rental payment during this period. No rental payment uh, during a lockdown, which okay. is not under your control. Got it. Got it. Very good. If I may also add, uh, we have also implemented this. Uh, uh, we are in a co-working. Ninety-one Spring Board has been informed, and they have also accepted that. Uh, the during the lockdown period, uh, no rentals will be charged. We are trying for WeWork because our office in Bangalore is in WeWork. Uh, they haven't confirmed yet, but they said they will come back with some sort of a um, uh, you know a guideline uh, immediately after the lockdown opens up. That what they are doing to support the startups. So this is just additional information. Great, excellent suggestion. Uh, Questions. Hi, this is Avinash. Yes, Avinash. So, uh, I mean, we are in a, a unique position to benefit from the situation because most of the companies are looking at a remote working product and we are seeing a huge surge in demand. Now, how much the companies will have budget to buy the solution is uh, another question which we are trying to assess. But yeah, I mean, we are in a dilemma where this, if we have to meet those demands, we need to scale up the infrastructure that requires investment. So I'm assuming that now uh, working out a new plan will be the solution, but that's one of the uh, dilemma that we have. Should we really invest in scaling up right now or we should we conserve and, and wait for a few months? That's one of the... Uh, no, you never, say, you never say no to good business. Mm -hmm. uh, let me repeat. You never say no to good business. Now, what is good business? <laughs> you have to decide that. Your mm -hmm. new customers will also be crying, Ki, Are hum ye de sakte, you know, and all that, right. and we can't pay now. So I'm saying good business. All right. Mm -hmm. So I think your new plan will answer that question. Is this good mm -hmm. business and good long-term okay. business? If yes, then okay. make it happen, man. Okay. And another question is around geography. So, uh, I mean, one of the things that we are hearing is probably APAC will come back. So, should we kind of try to change our strategy? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's okay. what I have said. Every strategy. assumption in your uh, current business plan has to be challenged. U.S. will be, U.S. has 80,000 cases today and there's no end at sight. Mm -hmm. so, so you forget about a new customer in U.S. in this time frame. Mm -hmm. Existing, mm -hmm. current contact, current, uh, yes, that's possible. But they are worried about their families, children and mm -hmm. so on. So. Uh, you have to look at geography very seriously. Okay. Shamal. Can I go ahead? Uh, yes, Shamal. Shamal, yeah. you go ahead. Yeah, so uh, a couple, these are not questions. It's just something that we learned quickly in the last few weeks. Uh, as most of you know, we do networking. So we've been kind of curiously looking at the whole situation. What we've learned is uh, two things. Number one, any of your customers, you know, even for our customers who are heavily non-cloud, who are heavily non-internet, uh, they're going to have a huge, huge problem in business continuity. All your customers who are very cloud friendly, internet friendly, uh, we should go after them. They seem to be doing uh, fine. We are seeing, for example, we've got Barbecue Nation and Flipkart and we're seeing a complete difference in what they need from us. That's one thing. Second, what we have seen is our own product has on-prem components and cloud components and we're seeing that this is the time to go all cloud. Everybody is woken up from the banks we work with to everybody that if they had a little bit of cloud and internet today, it would have been easy for them. So I think these are things that we are keeping in mind from, uh, from what do we do next? All our products are, some are fully cloud, some are half cloud, some maybe don't need the cloud. Uh, we are seeing that companies which are able to use cloud and internet are thriving, go after them. The second thing that we are doing very selfishly is if you look at COVID visualizer.com, uh, it shows the moving uh, planet picture. Uh, and, and it shows where where there is less and more. Uh, I think the world's looking very different now. If you look at Latin America, Africa, there's very little. And we are readjusting and saying, where in the world can our product be sold more quicker? Because uh, those economies are going to recover quicker. Uh, I know it sounds selfish, but from a business standpoint... No, no, this is not selfish, to, uh, Shaman. This is the... And, uh, and, uh, and, and so what we are going by is, for a change, 
uh, Africa and some of these countries, less infections are probably going to be better equipped because business has to continue. So these are two things that we are looking at. Drop all the non-cloud parts of your product, go to the cloud as quickly as possible. Focus on customers who are already cloud friendly. Uh, for customers who are very on-prem are going to struggle. Second, um, uh, to keep an eye on which uh, areas seem to recover quicker in the globe and just uh, see if we can kind of go there with some partnerships. Excellent, the last one, excellent. Uh, uh, like Karthik pointed out, is we were raising capital, so you can obviously uh, uh, see what we are going through in the current situation. But what we have learned is all of us have good partners around us. Like for us, there is some distribution, there's some channel, uh, there are investors who run companies, and we have brought them into the equity round saying we are in this together so, so that uh, the businesses get connected and they have more capital than we do for their businesses. So by doing some little bit of revenue share and all that, we can uh, we can kind of keep some costs going. I think these are some things that we've learned because we don't know how long this will continue. Excellent. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to- Excellent suggestions. But again, the bottom line is the, the, the learnings about cloud and other things that Shamal shared, they apply to his company. Don't assume that that applies to your company. So, so you need a new plan, period. That will answer which products to sell, which geographies to sell, how much to sell, how much sales force you need, what to develop as a technology, how the roadmap change. Everything in your business plan will change. Okay, other questions. We have just six minutes left. So, hi, this is Amit here from uh, Twid. Uh, yes, Amit. So, just to give an idea, so what we have been doing uh, in the last few weeks uh, has been that after we, we anticipated looking at the way China was going down, that uh, this problem could spread. So we have been doubling down on our SaaS offering and uh, earlier while we were focused on just the loyalty part of the ecosystem, we've actually extended our platform to become a complete uh, customer engagement platform. Uh, we found that, of course, a lot of the companies uh, took a fair liking to that and off late what we did in the last two weeks, we started pushing this more to startups in the fintech space as well. And we've actually come up with a pitch that we're actually helping startups to engage with their customers even in, in the downturn. And that message seems to be going down well. So our focus is to keep pushing down on a SaaS product. Obviously, we are not charging uh, people to adopt that uh, platform with us right now. We hope that if we stick with them through that day, in the good days, they'll remember us and continue working with us. Excellent. Amit, uh, the right things to do. But have you created a new business plan? Most people will do some tactical things, which is a disaster. I'm not saying yours is a disaster. I don't know your situation and your plan, but my request to all the people online here is create a new business plan. Don't tactically try to fix a small thing here and a small thing there. That is small things ka time gaya. This is a major situation and you need to re assume again. Let me repeat. You are hired as CEO of this company today. And you need to take this company from here onwards. What is your plan? The new CEO, you cannot trust the old plan. New plan, new strategy, new execution plan, new team, new strategy, new market, new sales, new etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, four minutes left. Other questions? Or somebody can share what they've done now. Absolutely. In the last uh, weeks. So this Kesha. is uh, Kesha. Kesha. Can you yes, hear me, sir? Yes, yes sir. Yes. So thanks for having this session. Uh, so you mentioned that uh, Cisco has seen an increase in uh, you know entire uh, efficiency. So do you and this whole question is open to other people in the honest team as well. So do you see any irre irreversible changes in the work from home scenario? And if yes, at what point do you think? How many months do you think this has to might have to go on to expect such kind of irreversible changes where people prefer working from home? No, this is an ongoing change that is caused not just by coronavirus, right? This uh, working from home is a phenomena that will play out over several years because of many reasons, right? Climate change, because you are driving your car, traffic problem because of that. Home situation, single family homes are there. Only one parent is there. Who's going to take care of the children? So working from home is not dependent on coronavirus. This is a catalytic uh, change that has happened. Uh, but that is a long term thing anyways, with or without Corona, that is where the world is heading. So new processes have to be developed, new tools are being developed, like a uh, number of things you see, they are, uh, they are tools for distributed uh, development and distributed uh, 
workforce. So this is a long-term thing. Having said that, the more important thing right now for each one of you to listen and why I said that is no reason to accept mediocrity. No reason to accept that we'll be operating at less than 100%. The reason I mentioned this is that no, it is not acceptable. Let me tell you, when I was hired at Cisco, the concept in US was that India operates at about 50% efficiency to the US. I said, bullshit. It's not acceptable to me. I will operate at 100% or even more. And we hired Bain to do the work uh, with Pankaj Patel as a challenger for me. And Bain work showed that India was operating at better free, better productivity than us so my purpose of mentioning this is that don't accept that it will be slow because this is the situation don't accept that your your uh, roadmap cannot be implemented now because of this situation no not acceptable we will operate at 100% sales people have to operate at 100% everyone has to operate at 100% one more minute left one last question from someone so I have one comment. This is Vishal here. Yes, Vishal. Uh, like it, it also depends on which sector of uh, customer section uh, you are focusing on uh, about the impact on your business. Like say, for example, if you're focusing on large customers who have more uh, resilience. So in those scenarios, of, uh, I understand there will be some impact, but the impact of on uh, on the on their business will be less as compared to if you're focusing on say new age companies uh, to sell your services or products. Uh, just one comment. No, no, that's fair. That's why everyone needs a, their plan, not one yeah, plan yeah. that everyone else can execute. You need exactly. your plan. Who is your customer? Who is even big customers? Let me tell you that. So if you are selling the same thing to Cisco or Dell three weeks back, and now you are selling, your sales cycle will be twice as long and your value proposition has to be twice as strong. Which is fair. Which is fair. Now, Vivek, I'll still say if uh, somebody can share a few things, that'll be better. We can extend the call for Absolutely. another five minutes. Uh, Absolutely. Longer, longer. Uh, Snay and Vishal, if you can share uh, as to how uh, you are going about uh, discovering new markets in the space. So thank you so much sir, for the valuable input so far. Uh, basically, I think we are the only consumer company in the entire group of yes. uh, companies who are there right now. And uh, we first took a hit on the supply chain issues that came in Jan Feb and now on the market side where US our key market is completely going amiss. But there is a silver lining in the cloud right now. We basically have revamped our entire plan. Not only one month, two month, three month, but uh, one month, one quarter, two quarters. Assuming that for the next two quarters, there may be zero revenue and no new customers that we may have to come in because we we started witnessing a huge spike in online sales. But right now, Amazon is shut in US as well as in India, trying to dispatch goods to customers. They're only dispatching essential items like groceries. So with that assumption, what we are trying to do is we have accelerated our, our uh, bottom line focus from a product development perspective as well as from a subscription play where we are selling services to customers through Miko uh, and uh, selling content to them and basically we are revising our plan to go from increasing our funnel of customers and increasing the user base to jump into ensuring that people consume content and pay for that content because in US, in US schools are shut for the entire year and uh, parents don't know how to engage their kids over there and we have a significant user base inside US right now. So, uh, so therefore, that model is working out for us uh, pretty much and people are consuming content, buying content in the past two weeks, we've seen a surge of subscriptions coming onto the platform and I think at this point of time, we are the only social robotics company in the world who's also selling units and at the same time, having a subscription play along with that into the picture. So it's a Snay, total revamp of our thought process. Snay, fantastic suggestion. One uh, su suggestion for you. The, yes. You need to change the marketing. The, you have Correct. eyes of people much more available at this point than uh, ever in the history. Everyone is yes. watching TV or watching uh, uh, internet and so on. So two things. One is your marketing has to completely change. Two, Correct. first things to open will be the uh, courier companies. So Correct. if you can build your sales and marketing well, yes. you can actually start taking order fairly soon, not, not yes. right away, but fairly soon. And then the, the moment courier companies open and children's school is closed for a long period of time, you may have a boom. So get ready for that in your Correct. situation. Correct. Yes. Perfect. Sure. 
Anyone else wants to share anything or a question? Yeah, hi, this is Vishal here from Momspresso. Yes, Vishal. Uh, thank you again very much, uh, Vivek, for having the session. So, uh, you know, obviously our revenues you know, have been <laughs> impacted. But one of the things that we've done is uh, look at sectors where there is an urgent need. So to give you an example, you know, we did something with uh, Savlon. So we just <laughs> signed a new campaign with them because obviously yes. for them, there has yes. been no decline. In fact, there has only been an upsurge as far as demand is concerned. Similarly, uh, you know, obviously you have children at home and moms are, you know, really trying desperately hard to, you know, keep them busy. So we should actually be signing up a, a campaign with Fevi Create, which is, uh, you know, which is owned by Pedilite, uh, where they are actually looking to, you know, create India's largest movement of, you know, crafting memories. Right. So I think that, uh, you know, that is one thing that we are doing, looking at how we are relevant to companies which are not facing a downturn in the current scenario. In fact, they are actually in some ways, you know, benefiting from this. Uh, the second thing is that, you know, we are just looking at uh, a renewed focus on certain different revenue streams. To give you an example of that, uh, you know, Hindustan Lever wanted to create a video uh, during the Janta curfew. And obviously, you know, in, under today's constraints, you cannot shoot an ad film. So the only thing that you can do is to actually, you know, crowdsource content. So they reached out to us and within two hours, we had given them 50 videos of, uh, you know, that whole part about actually the day before the Janta curfew, they wanted, you know, how can we actually applaud all the caregivers? So again, I think going forward, you know, advertising will not be possible for the next couple of months possibly, but, you know, user generated content is, and therefore, you know, we've, uh, we are actually, we've informed brands that this is something that they can do. Similarly on the research side, you know, most of research that happens even today is face to face and that has come to a standstill. So once again, because we have a panel, which is an online panel, research for us simply doesn't stop. So what we've had actually is surprisingly, we've had agencies reach out to us to see how they can actually leverage this online panel. And uh, lastly, what we foresee is that even going forward for all these FMCG companies, uh, I think uh, one of the biggest uh, opportunities for them will be to go to e-commerce, uh, you know, much more than they are currently. And over the last six months, we've been working on a solution and uh, we've already signed two clients. So which is more from a learning phase, but I think that as we learn with these clients, I think by the time we come out on the other side, we would have had huge learnings in terms of how to scale that. And that is, uh, that could virtually be our biggest revenue stream going forward. So I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that even in these dark times, you know, there are, you know, some opportunities that open up a lot of unforeseen opportunities will come up. And I think we just need to be you know, ready for them. Very, very good point, Vishal. I think uh, these are new opportunities. Everyone is doing that once again, at the cost of repetition, I will tell everyone that the, just don't tactically navigate to these opportunities, etc. Create a new business plan. Now, Mom Espresso is breaking even; they are cash flow positive, etc. So that their situation is different, but everyone is not in the same boat. Create a new business plan. That is even relevant for Mom Espresso. Yes, but yes. please do not tactically solve or go after opportunities. Just let's do this for this week and the next week and so on. Uh, please create a new business plan and a strategy. Wonderful point, Vishal. Thank you. Anybody Thank you. else? Hey, uh, this is Satish. Um, most of you know uh, I had begun to work on a legal tech uh, startup. Uh, so given the current situation, um, starting Monday, uh, I'm basically uh, taking my entire legal team, uh, putting them on hold on what we were doing and uh, making them available to have some conversations with you guys on any legal impact, um, you know, completely uh, free of cost, you know, for the next two to three weeks. So I will share some details by Monday. So if any of you have um, any legal issues to deal with as a result of this, whether it is your employees, your contracts or any other situation, uh, then you can make use of that. Wow, that's great. No divorces as part of this request. <laughs> Not free of cost. Okay. Wonderful, Satish. What a wonderful gesture. So, but your team has only, uh, all these legal people in your uh, team? These are law lawyers? So, the, the two main lawyers in the team and then we have the extended uh, uh, you know, law firm support. Okay. Um, okay. But, okay. Uh, uh, so, right now, I don't know what the kind of call and request volumes would be. Um, uh, so depending on that, I'll, I'll kind of figure out 
um, you know how to how to use them but at least uh, the generic uh, stuff with respect to um, labor laws employment laws contracts and i think everyone has a list of common questions so i'm trying to put together an faq um, but like what we've been seeing almost every company is different their issues are different so um, uh, i think what would be more useful rather than a generic faq would be to just arrange a call with the lawyers uh, uh, you know behind some information that we've already collected so i'm just kind of building um, uh, you know a list of questions that companies can answer um, and then from there we can kind of quickly figure out if we can help you guys or at least point you in some direction um, where we can help so guys, least, uh, lawyers and doctors uh, are never available free so take full advantage of this opportunity uh, also i am getting a lot of chat messages here for people who are getting late for other meetings guys thank you for joining uh, you won't right. offend me if you leave at this point whoever wants to continue we can continue maybe for next 6 minutes or so to 11:15 but people who have to leave please go thank you for joining and feel free to reach out to me if i can be of help thanks vivek thank you Thank you, sir. There is uh, just an announcement which has come in. Uh, yeah. EMIs have been waived off for 90 days. RBI has announced so no EMIs for all of us. Whosoever has a loan for next 90 days. Congratulations. Yeah, so, so, no, 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 guys, 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 hang on, hang on. Hang on. So one caveat: it's Come not 90 days. RBI, the discretion is with the banks. Please hold on to your horses. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's the bank which has to decide. The financial institution. Yeah. but wo aa jayega i think i think the, the, this will come 90 days is uh, is is probably not a... vivek sir hopefully it is uh, it is retrospective also in the sense people who bounce can be downed as moratorium provided chaliye wo apni problem solve karenge okay anyone else any last minute comment or any questions yeah. mohit mohit here yes mohit i just wanted to give uh, one instance and that instance is from uh, trezi I, i don't know if tithi is still on the call but to your point earlier about uh, you know reaching out to customers and making sure that we empathize with them uh, given trezi's product which is remote collaboration we actually held a webinar a couple of days ago with all customers and some prospects and they had about 80 odd people attending it from around the world uh, demonstrating trezi in a virtual way and telling them the benefits of remote collaboration so a webinar is a great way now to actually Fabulous. communicate reach out and get feedback and keep the bridge terrific terrific this this call itself is a great example of uh, yes. Yes. using virtual yes. tool right ah. perfect thanks thanks mohit vivek last thing that i want to hear from one or two uh, entrepreneurs here uh, sne or uh, neeraj uh, you have been in touch with the investors third party investors for the next round and must have spoken to some in the last week So what are they saying uh, what are you hearing from them uh, while you interacting with them the question so is for me no, me or someone for, else sorry this is for the entrepreneur Sne, entrepreneurs Raj. yes 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 please yes. so has, may have we, just left correct no no i was about to okay. but then, okay. Uh, but okay. then okay. i can fill, i can address the question so we've seen that uh, a lot of major funds have uh, us side i'll speak about we were in touch with a lot of funds. so there's a total shutdown of investment that they are doing investors mm -hmm. are not going to invest into companies uh, uh, at least at least that's what they're saying uh, 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 for uh, the next one to two quarters at least and uh, funding will open up uh, a lot of them asset will open up towards ond quarter uh they are reserving a lot of capital existing capital that they have for their portfolio companies in case if they require a bridge bridge to get out of corona uh so uh early stage funding is not that much of an issue but uh, growth stage funding becomes all the more difficult at this point of time and uh, and uh, the definition of early stage and growth stage is very different in us and india both sides uh, uh in terms of quantum and ticket size that is the but uh, but overall uh, what we are typically doing in that scenario is that uh, a lot of investors are taking um, deals they are in pipeline and they are waiting for uh, the corona uh, cloud to go so that they can immediately get into reviewing that uh, the minute things go out so we are not dropping the ball at all and we are basically ensuring that we are keeping them abreast of all the developments and our plans that we are building and at the same time the minute the objective is the minute the lockdown is going out and if they decide that let's look at investment we should be at the top of their list so that's the kind of focus that we are maintaining as a company at this point of time 
you may be you have to be in the top half because bottom half is not going to get any funding in the best case 50 50 right Correct. that's that's Correct. the most Correct. important point here yeah average yes. company no chance of getting next round of funding correct i think this is it uh, anybody else has to say something before we conclude the call uh, sir can we do this uh, next week as well <laughs> because things are changing with that thing it will be really great to catch up once again maybe, maybe 10 days if not next week sure 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 see, see the general advice will not change what i suggest is that you go back to the drawing board hamare batane se general advice bar bar kuch nahi hoga it will be the same kind of thing my suggestion is you go back to the drawing board and create a new plan uh, argue with your partners like hell and then finally when the plan comes out you want to present it to one of the partners or whoever is in your board and say sir this is the new plan take their advice and then after that feel free to ping me and i'm happy to give you my uh, independent feedback that will be much more helpful of course sir. thanks a lot so definitely that uh, is a good advice we'll do that uh, my purpose of asking for this thing is there are a lot of sharing like things uh, have been told by dhruv and uh, vishal so uh, you know people may share uh, the actions which they have taken on the ground because you know sir whatever plan we will take we will take uh, some time maybe a few weeks to uh, transform into that plan but situation on the ground is really requiring dynamic sharing and suggestion so that was uh, just a uh, so a let, us, let us let yeah. us uh, in the in that group that we created whatsapp group let's see how many people would like uh, a sure. call again in what frequency we are happy to do it it's not a problem okay. from our side you guys have to deliver and make sure your other things are in uh, in the in the work as Absolutely. well so we are open uh, it's really uh, on what people will find useful okay sir absolutely and uh, one of the founders uh, is sharing the minutes of the meeting right away and uh, one quick one sunil sir wakes up uh, one thing for the entire portfolio i think one feedback is that even we are uh, snay even for you i guess uh, we are in touch with the investors and just closing the round we are realizing that a lot of uh, north american investors are right now looking at uh, india and deep tech in india as a great opportunity because the deep tech companies in the US us are uh, majorly struggling so i think it will be a good time to get in touch because these guys are aggressive getting very aggressive suddenly uh, for this side of the world and this is something we've observed even for collaboration on tech and uh, for funding and even maybe you know for increasing revenue even uh, sharing some of their uh, key deliverables they're really actively looking at india as an option right now good Terrific. point uh, tushar uh, similarly we are seeing china china has gone through the uh, the, the uh, phase all the chinese I means whatever i have spoken to the chinese vcs uh, know that this will be over and done in two months time maximum so they are coming up and they want to uh, buy out companies cheaper or invest at lower valuations at this point in time so already some investment bankers have reached out to us uh, so keep an eye in case you've been in touch with some chinese uh, investors reach out to them Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining. And uh, like I said, once you have talked, created a new plan, talk to your board member or anyone, Sanjay, Girish, Satish, Sunil. Once that discussion has happened, and uh, then you want my independent feedback, I'm happy to take the call from any one of you. All the best. Guys, Keep can safe. we start our call at eleven thirty, please? हाँ 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 कर सकते हैं हम सो लेट स्टार्ट आर कार कॉल एट इलेवन थर्टी ओके थैंक्स गाइज एवरी वन थैंक ग्रेटली अप्रिशिएटेड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टाइम थैंक यू बाय बाय थैंक्स वेक